Hey everybody, this is Fulio of Echale Forrest Productions and today we're gonna show you guys how to make some awesome breakfast burritos. Let's start off with our ingredients. So, breakfast burritos, we've all had them. Super simple to make. You can go super extravagant, you can go super simple. Today, we're gonna go pretty simple. So we're going to be using some breakfast sausages, whether you get them in link or a patty, doesn't really matter as long as you got the sausage. We're also going to be using some beautiful thick cut bacon. Look at that, gorgeous. Some egg, simple, should be in every breakfast burrito. If you don't like eggs, then leave them out, as much or as little as you want. We're also gonna be including some hash browns. So here we have three grated russet potatoes. Before we get these on the griddle, we're gonna take them out of the water, put them in a cloth, a cheesecloth, or basically any little towel you have, and just squeeze the liquid out of them. That way we try and get them as dry as possible so that when we get them on the griddle, they just fry up nice and crispy and beautifully golden brown. And of course, you need your tortillas, some big ass ones. Here we have some extra large flour tortillas. I would say for burritos, the bigger the better. That way you can stuff them fuller and you get little fat logs. So that's our base. Whatever else you wanna put in, if you want some chorizo, if you want other meats, ham, sachicha, if you wanna put avocado, salsas, whatever you want, go ahead and stuff your burrito to your heart's content. But this is just the simple and now, we're gonna take it outside and get these cooked up. All right, and we are outside with our Blackstone griddle and we already have our bacon on the griddle. Remember with bacon, you wanna get it onto a cold pan, a cold griddle, and let it heat up with your pan or griddle. And that's gonna allow the fat to render out and for your pieces to keep their shape. Apologies for the dog, that's not our dog, that's the neighbor's dog. So while these are going, I also have this little area here reserved for the sausages. So we're gonna get those on the griddle now. Just get them down and get them cooking. So we're gonna let all this cook on the flat top and we're gonna use the rendered bacon fat, the sausage fat, and we're gonna use all of that to cook our hash browns and to cook our eggs coming up. So for now, we're just gonna let these go. We'll flip these and make sure they're nice and cook through and crispy. Make sure these have a nice sear on them. And we'll be back with our hash browns and our eggs. And afterwards, we'll give you a tour of our dogs. Cause we got Dodger right now, sniffing the camera woman. And we have two little ones waiting for any scrap of food that will fall off the grill. All right, and once those start coming out nice and crispy, nice and cooked through, we can take them off the griddle and get ready for our hash browns. Because all that nice bacon fat, all that nice sausage fat, some nice crisp, some nice color, and some nice flavor. All right, our hash browns. This is the cloth we use to drain our hash browns, drain all that liquid off. So now we're just gonna get it out onto the griddle, spread it out in a nice layer, and get it cooking. There we go. So you get your hash browns on and you want to break it so it's in a nice even layer. And now looking at it, three potatoes doesn't seem like that much. And this should cook up and brown up real quick so you don't want to dilly dally too much. Get some salt on there and for flavor slash color, some paprika. And you're let these cook for a couple minutes. It's already been about one or two since we got these on. We want a nice golden brown color. All right, let's flip these. It has a nice little crust on the top. We're gonna try and get the crust to form on the other side and flip it probably once or twice more to get that nice golden brown crust that we want. We have our hash browns off to the side, just cooking a little bit more. We're gonna take them off right here in a bit. And last but not least, let's get our eggs on the griddle. These are gonna cook up fast, so we're gonna work quick here. And now, the fun part that 
isn't cooking, we're going to assemble our burritos. So we're gonna get our tortilla on here, heat it up just so it's pliable, get all our filling ingredients in, roll it up, put it back on, and get a nice toastiness on there. So let's get to that. All right, so let's start off with our tortilla. Just get it on the griddle. This, you don't want your crispiness to come in yet. You just want it to get a little pliable. About a couple seconds, 10 seconds maybe max. Then we're gonna get it on our plate. Then we're going to assemble our burrito. Assembling your burrito, this is gonna be however you wanna do it. This is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna start off with some of our nice crispy hash browns. Some egg, two pieces of bacon, cause why not? and two sausages. If you want to put any other extra salsa, cheese, whatever, put it now. But now we're gonna tuck it in and just try and roll it into a nice tight log. And there we have our beautiful buried toe. So now we're gonna get this back on the griddle, toast it up a bit, and we're gonna be ready to try it out. Let's check this out. Oof, beautiful. Egg, hash brown, bacon, sausage. Look at that. Beautiful. Now my favorite part, I get to try this out. So, here we have a perfect cross section. Everything, egg, hash brown, bacon, sausage. And I get to eat it, because I'm awesome. <laughs> I haven't had a really good breakfast burrito in a long time, and this just hit the spot. I make some good shit. Anyways, I have to get back to making more for the rest of the family. We're hungry. We are hungry. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, and if you wanna keep up with what we're gonna do next, hit the subscribe button. As always, stay safe, stay awesome, peace. Hi, Dodger. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi, Niner. <laughs> Niner's scared of the camera. Rose. They're all just waiting for you. They all want food.